Okay. We know where your the offices are. <laughs> yeah. if we're here in the morning, you'll know. All right. They gotta be able to. I'm so much more high tech than anything on this table. Okay. Recording. What can I say? But we are recording. So this We're is recording. Out, so, yes. You now have gone out to all of Wakeland. Should they care? Although nobody has asked to be a participant. So, probably not. Okay. So, after okay. Class. So, really, the first thing, yeah. actually, the first thing now, because we're a little late, just in case this woman, Caitlin, does show, is we should talk. And there really is nothing to talk about. Yes, I mean, because we, you sent her the notification and told her the state she should contact the state right. and it's all right here uh that the state it's an error of judgment and <laughs> she should have filed for each year in a timely manner yeah it's as simple as that uh i did do i did do some work on it i mean i made sure that the plan did not have written on it not a building yeah 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 you said and it did not I saw two plans because they were, I think it was amended slightly, and neither one said not a building. So okay. we are completely in the right because mm -hmm. there's plenty of frontage, there's plenty of size, and we did not know about the Can regulation. The, is she actually selling the whole lot or a portion of it? As she a wants lot? to sell this. And so all she would lose is a little. I mean, she can still sell it, right? Oh, she can yeah. sell it, but she can't sell well, it as, as a, a building lot. lot. Oh, and that's because lot the only yeah. part which does is not within the four hundred feet is a little corner right here. Okay, which she would never want to put a house on. Yeah, you know, come yeah. on, you wouldn't have a leach field. I mean, there'd be a lot of things. Yeah. So, um, What's the what's the date of the plan you're looking at that showed not building lot? Is well, that before do you suppose she, I? She owned the oh, property? yeah. Well, it was always Dickinson. Yeah, her mom and dad. Oh, was yeah. it before? See, now you've asked me questions that. Yes, I know you just messed her up. I mean, I looked them all up. She, she split the lot. In like 2010 was the first, or 28, 2008 was the first deed, and then there was a, uh, not a deed, a plan. Um, so Pam must have. Uh, because she just sold it. In the last I think years. so. Yeah, I think it was Pam who sold. Yeah, because it was after he died. Oh yeah, yeah. He died a long time. Oh, I thought that I had. Oh, maybe I have a copy. This one was done in 2015, and I think that might be when she. I'm not sure, but see, there's nothing on it saying not a building site. And then there maybe is even an earlier one. Yes, this one from 2000. Nothing okay. about it not being a building site. Okay. And at that point, it probably would have been because you maybe could have done something here. But uh, anyway, so she really has no. Okay, so what's that next? I see. So if she personal property for Paul. Okay, Paul can't be here because he's having eye surgery today, but he would like to come in and plead his case. Now, what I did. But he hasn't gotten your your information. No, I did not tell him. Oh, okay, so that. once he gets that, he may be satisfied. We don't want to tell him anything. Okay. In. 2013 may have been the first time that we sent him a bill. I'm not sure, but it was the first time I believe that he did not pay a bill. And he has not paid since until this year. He has not paid since 2013 on his personal property. He has spoken with Lynn. He has spoken with me. And every time we said, we have to see what you had. You haven't, you, you're not there when we go, number one. Number two, you don't do a formal list. So last fall, probably maybe last summer, he gave me a form of list, and based on that, I took his value down from one hundred and two thousand to nineteen thousand five forty-five. Because that one big machine is over a hundred thousand. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. 
So according, I believe, to the law, the maximum that we could abate be three years. Now, we wouldn't be doing 2022 because he already got yeah. that at the lower value. So there, yeah. And what he overpaid <clears throat> for 2022, because he did on the first two halves of the bill, uh, Lynn has put onto the 2013 bill. She added that. So that's taken off the 2013 to a large extent, I imagine. Um, and I think somewhere I have written when he sold the machine. Maybe not. Yeah, sold in 2011. To, to Jim says. But he didn't bother to tell us. What kind of machine was it, you know? It was a caterpillar shovel. Oh. And we have it at 75 grand. So if if you were to feel particular charity, and I frankly, I mean don't ask me to be. Yeah, I mean it's not like it snuck up on him. He yeah. has been advised been multiple him. times. He finally came in last year and talked to me and I said, Well, give me a new form of list and we can lower it going forward. But now he is wanting to cry on your shoulders. Should you want to do three years? I did calculate what it would be using the uh, 2019, 20, and 21. This would be the three years. And it would be a total abatement of not much over 4,000 bucks. And we've never been there to look at anything? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we, oh, okay. last year. Yeah, we went last year to look at it. Yeah. And McChesnick, is that who he sold it? Yeah. Does he put it on his formal list? <laughs> Uh, I have no idea, but let's not worry about that too much until, I mean, I should see yeah. if it's, I mean, we don't, Still he, in way he is in as a farm. I have to, I'm not sure <laughs> whether it's on the back. That's a good thing to check. So I'm going to make a note of that. So yes. I don't remember going there. When did we go there? Yeah, we did. Was it in? Do you remember for any summer was, months or whatever? Yeah, <clears throat> was it, it was all about of us that. or was it maybe was just it me and I went? I no, I would. No, I think I thought was we it, all yeah, went. I, I would say I, I, I thought remember. we all went. I don't know. Right, we didn't go. When was it? Anyway. I wasn't here, right? I don't think we went in the house even, did we? I don't think out. we did. Uh, no, we talked, and yeah, he was going to give you a new list of. of you know equipment. what? I never added on to it an activity thing. We haven't been really. 2003 is the last time I think we may have been in the house. And then That's we it. had we had two inspected in 2011 and 2014, which means we did not go in and he was not there either time. See, because I have no recollection of Yeah, yeah, then, I ever going there, yeah. yeah, I do too. But we didn't see anything. Um, I think we agreed with what he had left, which is a paver, a roller back hole and a top hole. Those are the values. <laughs> is he still aping? I mean, he's getting rid of his equipment. I have no idea. I don't think he's well. Doesn't he have cancer? I don't, think, so. I don't know. I think he has cancer, maybe. Yeah. I'll stay. So anyway, if all of that moves you to pity, charity. No. I can more. see it's not. <laughs> Well, we can't do anything until he asks. Yeah. Oh, he's asked. Now, we but can. But you haven't told him what we can do. We can invite him to a meeting. Yeah, that's what you did. Which I did. Because I he forgot could... that he said he couldn't come for a while because he had this surgery. I think, yeah. It may just be. Is he on chemotherapy? I have... I'm surprised he would be coming around to anything. I mean, because of. I know. Don't forget, we're, we're being recorded, so please yeah. be careful oh, what, you, okay. what you say about people. Well, it's just that these, that these right. therapy yeah. it can be difficult. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, I do have the figures here of what, I mean, I suppose one could do one year. I mean, there isn't anything about doing three. It's just that you can't do more. Yeah. Yeah. So that was what I had. And, and what's he paying for 
property tax, roughly. No? Oh, but it should be on. She has it. Oh, she has it. Oh, no, yeah. Okay. Um, we did when when we oh see we did go because look we even lowered things so yeah. we were there I don't know why I didn't put it up. Well, there, there must have been one subsequent to this so maybe it's not even that high. <coughs> I might have pulled. Yeah, look. Um, it's possible that I just pulled one out of the drawer rather than, than uh, printing it. So maybe less. Maybe like three. Uh, what's she going to tell us different if we have to come in other, other than he's going to ask for the three years, right? Are we going to get. He's going to ask for all 10, all nine years. Well, but we can't give like, more than three. So yeah. that's. Okay. But that's what he's going to. Well, but that's just like that, that woman. You can't. Right. You can't do what you can't do. Yeah. 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 So that's, that's the easy answer. Okay. okay. So I, when we schedule our next meeting, again, I will call him and just say we're meeting and can you come in? Yeah. And, uh, but I won't say anything more. Right. But he hasn't filed, or has he filed anything for an abatement for these three years? He's never actually, I don't think he actually filed an abatement. He Did came he in him? and he talked. Oh. So should he file something? Because for, when he filed, well, but it, it wouldn't be timely anyway. For our next meeting and when he comes in? If but, he it wouldn't, but it wouldn't be timely. I mean, an abatement that was filed too late, so not worth anything. Okay. Well, or, or just a letter asking him. Uh, just a letter requesting what he wants us to do. Something that you have on record that he asked for this and, and that we, we agreed or didn't agree. Ask him to submit, submit something, a formal request, whether it's, you know, call an abatement, just a letter, ask him, tell us what, what, he, what his concern is and, and what he wants us to do and present that to the board yeah. and we'll decide. Otherwise, it's just what based on what a phone call between you and him. And, well, so he he he's been in. Well, or he's been in, but, but it needs to be written. It if to, it's not written, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Okay. So letter. Uh, request. You can share him what you did, and and if he's happy with that, and just wants to ask for the three years. Tell us that, and we can act on it. Right. Okay. I just used the word. Okay. Okay. So those were the two big things. Uh, there were a couple of sales, and I'm hoping that you can perhaps help me with this one, Fred, yeah. because this is your cousin, and I think that she is putting these together into a single thing, but it's very confusing. Uh, I'm not aware of that. But. Okay. Yankee Candle sold the southern half that they owned of the Sugarloaf shops back to actually the 424 State Road LLC, which I believe owns the North Hill for a cool 1.185 million. Okay. And I have to look to see what. Tell you that, but it's it's up in that area. Yeah, it's up in that kind of yeah. area. So they just the, the sugar loaf. Okay, I know where those are. Yeah, yeah, yeah the corner. And, yeah. and 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 you know, Yankee had owned the bottom half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, uh, right. I think it is the four twenty four state boat there in Southwick. Southwick, was, Southwick. That's where the LLC. Located. Oh. Although this says, no, this says Seven River Road, so that would imply it's the uh, it's way down a lot of people. Seven, yeah, Seven River. Yeah, yeah, that's where the big fields are because it says six where they start. You know the big fields. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it's. I think that would be the. Uh, 
marijuana people. Yeah, they're they're growing there, and they want they want to sell. And they want to use that. They, so they're they using won't. the southern half, right? They must be because yeah. it's Yankee. Right, southern half. Yes, right. we're Yankee Candy part of it. Okay, so they. Is it okay? Paid one point one eight five million. What is being grown in that area? Marijuana. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. the is high... it hemp or marijuana? I mean, I believe it's, it's smokable. Or I it's... believe it's marijuana. Well, it's it's the one to the on the west side of the road, not the other side. Down near where AI. Yeah, I know yeah. what's up. Oh, I know it. The other part is I don't know what raspberry is. Something else that's yeah, it's yeah. all fenced in with wires going in. Something else. I think yeah, the yeah. other is north. North. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah, across the road that's all north. Yes, I, yeah. I, but I know which one it is. Yeah. Yeah, behind AI. Yeah. Okay. And then. Uh, so are they going to open a, a retail store? You're saying, and maybe that. That's and sugar loaf. Yeah. Sugar yeah. yeah. Oh, that's convenient. That's actually a good place. Yeah. Yeah. That's out of. Out of the way, the school, of, yeah, the school is not going to get upset. I know some of the parents were upset because it was so close. Close, yeah, right there. That, yeah, the Hutkoski land, right? That's the Hutt I don't know. I think so. I just know someone on the school committee. <laughs> not yet. The Five Dog Nominee Trust who owns Tom's Hot Dogs. Five Dog? It's called Five Dog. A W G. Isn't it? Okay. Five Dog Nominee Trust has sold oh. to Gary Clark for five hundred thousand. I'm surprised it's that little. That place is ripping business all the time. And again, I don't know why I didn't print out the card. I thought Gary Clark owned it, just owned the business, not the land. That could be. Oh, oh, it's just the business that was the five hundred. No, 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 this is no, the land. No, it's the, land. the land and the Gary building. Clark is oh, the building is what Gary Clark owns. And now he owns both the land and the building. Well, or does he just own the business? And now he's bought the, oh, the land. land. Okay. That's my guess. Yeah. Yeah, I went in there with you. Right. So those were the sales that I got today. Very few sales this year. Very few. We have stuff to sign. Oh, and yes. we have spring and summer inspections. Yes, and I did, didn't get a chance to really pull it together, but we so we certainly have a little bit of new growth. Not so far, not a whole lot of new growth to look at. Um, I think we should probably, again, at least for the daytime looking, concentrate on any businesses we have a yet to, because we're not going to have Dwayne. Package there doing inspections. Yes. So, okay, so we have some uh, motor vehicle okay. things here. Are the abatements, and here are, oops, are the forms, and I think you all have the pen. Mm -hmm. So, we're not setting up any of the spring or summer inspection yet. Not yet. It's getting dark still too early. Yeah. Um, oh, I was thinking of businesses. Because well, that's true. true. Look okay. at my schedule. Okay, so I'm going to have to go through and see when we looked at things and who I think we should see. And we did a lot. Yeah. You and yeah. I did a lot. Yeah. Um, well, I did the actually have to be days, and that could be difficult for some people. Yeah. To do. Uh, we did get a form of list, and I've already gone through and I've put everything on the computer okay. that I have. And both Ellen L. Fence and the fireplace actually sent we, us a sent about time. Sent us um, was last year that we went list. Yeah, yeah. So I made all the changes that were necessary. Oh, and I got one from the wax barn. Oh, you're kidding! Wow. I had gone ahead. I put it in at uh, the value of uh, fifty grand, and the next day when I came in. We had it in the mail for I don't know thirty four or something. So I changed it. Yes. Put it down what yes. they said on the phone with us. That was good. Um, who didn't get back to me? Not my friend. No, it's hard. It's only two do it. That's okay. 
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not signing either one of these, though. Just no, the just the ones that are done. Um, we've never gotten anything back from Harlan B. Or, well, he's got some kind of a business going on. Ooh. Harlan B. And I was talking with Kit. And it seems she thought that he had something to do with the explosive business up there behind them. Behind them? Yeah, behind yeah. the florals. Well, who owns it? Yeah. Oh, it's called Bay State. Blasting? Bay State, Bay State Blasting is the address I, I have at, yeah. at Holland Beans yeah. with some other blast. And that's why I thought, and I don't, so I sent them both okay. ones of the start yeah. and haven't got that back from either place. The South, the South. She had no choice. I think there the place there house. has an address, I don't know, there or someplace like that, yeah. out in that area. Why don't you put it on our list of go visit this summer? Yeah, I think we yeah. should. Let's see what so he's got there or what he's doing. She hopes so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where, Where is she moving from? Okay. She's, so, she's staying in her home. She lives on. Do you have the uh, the greenhouses the by the ice? Oh, green room. One that, if you're on Hidden Hill Road. So you wouldn't have been on my own. No, they wouldn't have. She lives up on that road. Set back. So what are they doing okay. to her house? Well, yeah, that she suffered a lot of damage. Oh, and the other place we need to look at is Norris's building there right across the road, right near the well, Delvinas Avenue. Yeah. Uh, building. Um, yeah. 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 But there's there's also that building near the road that we built. If we whether we have that assessed. Who is he? Of course, I would assume. Norse. It's a red building on the on the east side. Before you come to the Venus. Drive, you, on the east side. Yeah, the east side. Oh, I don't know. Anybody it's close to the road. East side. Anybody is it a house or a barn? No, it's a barn. No. They were east on the side of the road. That's good. Oh, red barn. Yeah. I'm not sure. I have to look. I know we uh, we have a barn on one of those pieces. Yeah. We have it, but whether and, and the one okay, if you go to the other side of Venus, is that what you're talking? Norris has got a right up, up the road a bit. I mean, you go up till Venus, yeah, and it's off to the right. right yeah, okay, that's the building. Talking. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we need to look at that. Um, can you think of other? Places that see that travels around besides other new growth that I have. New growth. Do we need to look any in the fine plains? I don't know what you think. Did you do the one at the end of the Eastwood? The Eastwood, I don't know. Street. At the very end on the right hand side. On, I think, well, it depends on which. Oh, well, well there's two of them. Oh, we were in the second. Oh, yes, we went into I the second. I think we pretty much, yeah. Okay. I can't think of. I can't think. Of I anything. don't think there's anything that's been happening. Uh, no, they're, they're clearing a lot though. Uh, right at that corner uh, of Francis and Eastman, there's a big lot that's being cleared. I can tell we wouldn't have a circular driveway. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, hi, hi Caitlin. Caitlin. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Long time no see. Yeah, Jimmy. Right. They're just clearing. It's not been built yet. Yeah. yeah. Where? They're just clearing that lot. They're see? just clearing it. But I met, I saw the woman there, and she said they're clearing it now. We should be in in six months. They said. Yeah. Which place is this? At uh, the corner of Francis and Eastman. Oh, the one that uh, that had had been Zimmer and was bought by the two women. No, 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 this is on the other side of the street. It's right there on that corner. Oh, okay. It's the Eastman is here. Eastwood. Eastwood is here. Yeah. Where's Francis? Francis is that little street. I know where it is. Do. I mean, on your drawing, on your hypothetical air. Okay. There's Francis. There's Eastwood. Yeah. And this is the end of Eastwood. Right. The lock is right here. 
Oh, okay. And it now has a circular drive. They left some of the deciduous oh, okay. in there. Okay. But so they said by Texas. September, so I don't know what that is. Okay. So I guess we should. At four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Well, you're right on time. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was waiting right outside. Oh. So I guess. Okay, we're, we're the Board of Assessors for, for Whaley. Uh, I'm Fred Olaski, the Cynthia Herbert, Melanie Chork, and. Now, do we have to Kathleen. put her in? Don't uh, we have to? No. No, no. She's, she's already being recorded. And she'll be on she's an in. owl. She's okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Can and, you see and, yourself on the yeah. Okay. Okay. And Kath, Kathleen Grady is our other assessor, three of us on there. So. Uh, and we understand you have a concern about the property on uh, Conway. On Conway. Oh. Yes. Yeah. So okay. the it's a land parcel. It's not a residential property. Okay. Um, and to my memory, it's always been billed as a developable lot. Um, over the last year or so, we've been looking at selling all of the properties uh, that my family have owned. On that, on that road for quite some time. I think my grandfather bought that property in the 40s. Um, and it's been the, to the dismay of our neighbors that we're looking to sell. I'm not here to dispute the fact that it's a, develop, a non developable lot. I understand that it falls within the boundary of the reservoir, which creates problems when you're putting in a septic system, if you're looking at developing it, I, I absolutely understand that I'm not here to dispute that with you. Where I take issue is that the email communication that I had received stated that the Board of Health had informed you that it is not a developable lot. My concern is that it's my understanding that the chair of the Board of Health owns an abutting property. <laughs> this person <laughs> not only personally, but financially benefits from this lot being rezoned as a non-developable lot. I apologize if I'm using the wrong terminology. I mean, no I need to use a different word. My other issue is that this change happened only a day or two after the abatement period closed so that we were no longer able to file an abatement and potentially get a refund or paying taxes at the incorrect rate. Again, I'm not looking to dispute the fact that it is not a developable land plot. I just think the way that we landed here needs some investigation and some discussion. How does he benefit? Well, that's his view. <laughs> um, they didn't want to sell it. <clears throat> right, but even if you sell it, it has to be just a, a piece of land. It can't be, it's not buildable. So now it's not built, right. but before that, it could have been like it, at least the potential buyers mm -hmm. could have explored the possibility of developing it. Mm -hmm. It sort of closes the door to potential buyers. But that reg has been on the books, I believe, from at least 2000. There, so to sell it as a building lot would never have, I mean, gone through. It, it, it would have been wrong. I mean, it's not like we just changed it to one. We changed it on our own records. And I will say, just to sort of get some of these things out of the way, I did look at both plans just to make sure that I had missed the fact because when it is non buildable, very often the mapper will write right on it, not a buildable lot. That does not say that. For the assessors, the only criteria we have to look at is frontage and the size of the lot. It is not up to us to know all the regs from the state. So it clearly fell within the, you know, the parameters of being buildable. Um, it was the Board of Health, which came, which actually began, you only got billed for the lower amount, right? Didn't you only get billed for the lower amount? I'm not sure what the other option would be. I've been paying, the land is owned by my mother. Um, I've been financially responsible for it for about 10 years. So the bill comes care of my husband and myself, right. but it's 
legally owned by ISM. By ISM. Yes. Um, um, I thought we had changed it in time so that the bill that you would have gotten in January already reflected the board. So, so I have a question. This wouldn't have been brought to your attention if it wasn't for the public health. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, again, yeah. as I say, it is, and I have spoken with a lawyer at the DOR, and he says, no, it is not your responsibility. Yeah. You did due diligence. And I even went further because I checked to make sure there weren't any other properties that were vacant within that 400 foot thing. And I thank goodness there were, I mean, it wouldn't have mattered because I just would have changed the way I changed yours. But there weren't. That was the only one that that was in as having been developed. Mm -hmm. The others have been under development for a long time. Where's the little one on the water or something like that? Oh, okay. what did I want? What was that? Yeah, I was looking for there. There you go. Oh, really? Oh, really? What do you mean, we've never been in the backyard? <laughs> It's a beautiful view if you're looking look, at the look reservoir. The, can you look the other way oh, east challenge. to see anything? Oh, from there? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Well, you know, I've never been in the back. You know, I'll tell you the truth, I'm not sure. No, I'm we've sure. been there. I am, I so what is your, what do you hope to accomplish in coming and talking to us? I mean, I'm not, the whole situation feels, yeah. it feels unfair to, yes. be, to be blatantly yeah. honest with you. It feels unfair. Um, I did not notice a significant change in price when I received the tax bill in January. Nothing that would have alerted me to have this conversation. I've been speaking with realtors and involved with the legality side of property ownership for over a year, and yeah. it's never come up. Yeah. The only way that it did come up was a brief conversation with my realtor before the turn of the new year. And she said, listen, if you go to your town, you may be able to get some money back if you've been paying the taxes at the incorrect rate. And we were like, well, let's just let it go and see, you know, see what happens. Um, and then she called me and she said, oh, the town changed it. You know, the town, it, it's now, the, I looked up the property card and it was one thing two weeks ago, and now it's this thing. And and I think it was after that period in which we could have changed it. So you probably did get a bill based on the old developable right. rate. Right. Because I think this all happened in Thanksgiving to Christmas yeah, I don't think period of time. Ago. Yeah, yeah okay. I think that was when it happened. So that's why. Okay. I'm not sure what that conclusion. <laughs> well, it does. It's just I just am trying to make sure that we didn't fail to do something in a timely way, and I think the timeliness only kicked in, mm -hmm. we'll say, sometime between Thanksgiving and the year, okay. and that's when I changed. I mean, I had to. You know, I I called the state. I talked to several other people, mm -hmm. and okay. that was. Okay, I guess it just feels like being neighbors with somebody who holds a town office shouldn't, I shouldn't be penalized for that. But well, <laughs> you know, it was... And somebody who, I mean, frankly, my family has owned that property. Like I said, my yeah. my grandfather, right. but my father, like, I'm just trying to do what I can right by my family. Right. I mean, you know, before it was subdivided, you probably... Could have, I mean, for all I know, you could have done flag lots back onto it off of Poplar Hill. But because it got sectioned off with its frontage all on Conway, that's when it really changed. Right. But that was done when I purchased the home. Um, I think that was in like 2015. Yeah. Right. Because it was just a year ago. Because that's this one. That's that plan. Right. right. That divided yeah. it. Into yeah. Three. So it was always two, and then they divided it. Yeah, um, see, and I remember that line. But... I mean, we did all that on the up and up. As far as I'm concerned, we had lawyers involved. We had somebody come out with property lines. So 
it just feels a little strange. I know that this is all coming up. Should they have the public health? Well, well, I don't know what they're. No, I'm not. So. I truthfully don't even know what board should have been more aware. Would it have been ZBA or the planning board when this plan was presented? Who signed off on it? I don't know if anybody did. Don Sluter, Nick Jones, that's planning board. So that's planning board. Planning board. So, yeah. I mean, really, they're. <laughs> If you have a beef, it's really with them because they should have planning yeah, board should, of, have should have known yeah, this that it's not buildable because I mean if you know, well, if, if nobody told them they would know. They would not know. So who it would comes, know though? That said, I mean who know. would know that that you have to be outside of a four hundred foot limit? Wouldn't you think it would be the planning from, board? From a you know public water source. Well, maybe a realtor. Should have known. I don't know. It's, we didn't see, see this is the problem. In 2016, it was an in-home family sale or, or yeah. in-family sale. We didn't have realtors. We yeah. had yeah. a lawyer. Yeah. And we had um, you know, somebody come in to do the property lines, but we didn't have a realtor per se right. because we weren't shopping for a home. We knew which house we had to buy, <laughs> so we bought it. <laughs> So you could uh, go before the planning board and ask them, you okay. know, did, were you aware of these setbacks okay. at a reservoir okay. before they signed off on that plan? Okay. And are you able to see the tax history? Can you tell me if, if the payment is going to change or has changed? Well, yeah, I mean, it's gone for the current year. I just could look right at this. It says it. It was valued at at 104,500. And that's pretty much what it's been within that range, just a little over 100,000. Right along, according to this, it goes back further, but this only takes that many. It's now at 12.5. Right. So, yeah. so the tax would go down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so right now, I write a check for the ballpark of $400 every three months. Um, See. And to me, if something's twelve thousand valued at twelve thousand dollars, writing you a check for twelve hundred yearly. Yeah, it should be <laughs> fifteen times twelve, roughly. Yeah. Three hundred dollars. Uh, I mean, one hundred eighty dollars. Okay. A year, is what it should be. Right, and right now I write you a check for about twelve hundred a year. Yeah, I would say around. So I guess that's the root of it, right? Like all conversations circle around money. Yeah. I've been hiding you. Too much. Too much. Too much. And none of this conversation came up, whether it be you receiving a piece of mail or, and, and I know that you had said you're not legally bound to inform us of it. Well, we changes. didn't even know it. I mean, obviously, yeah. if any of us had known and said, oh my God, she can't sell that as a building lot. Right. We would have changed it. was also it. on the market for about six months last year. I remember that. Was it separate from the other pieces? Yes. And was well, it was it listed as a buildable lot? Yes. Yeah. Well, I, I'm I guess. just surprised at the planning board. I, I am too. I mean, yeah. to me, the ZBA and the planning board should be aware of state regs about public, yeah, somebody has to public be aware. water sources. Yeah. I mean, and it's just. Yeah. And they signed off on it, right? Yeah, they the signed plan, off. Plan yeah, board. there it is. There. We only deal with things once they're built. You know that whole man, Judy, yeah. Mark, all those lines and everything. We don't. All the signatures are on there. Okay, but if they if they aired then and shouldn't have approved this building lot, what 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 are we doing now? Where where do we stand? Well, according to the guy, the, the lawyer at the at the Department of Revenue, uh. 
you cannot just issue any kind of an abatement going back forever. There is an option to issue an abatement for no more than, than three years. Uh, but it minute. goes through the state, right? How, how does it, you don't make that decision? How did this get to the planning board? I have no idea. Do you remember how it got to the planning board? I mean, that was when, it was it, when you bought it, when you bought your mom's, mm -hmm. when she was selling both of the houses. She was never when, selling both of the houses. When, and that's where I get emotionally complicated <coughs> because when my right. dad died, yes, I remember. she took over ownership of both houses. Right. And then my aunts and uncles, my brother's, sisters and brothers informed her that he had promised them each a sum of money and had put a lien against one of the houses in lieu of that sum of money. Oh. So we had one calendar year to come up with $125,000. You know, my mom, she's not like, we don't have that in a bank account. Right. So myself and my husband, who were newly was purchased the home, effectively taking out a mortgage so that she could get that profit and turn around and give it to my aunts and uncles who are going to sell the house out from under her if she didn't do that. So when we did that, my husband and I were in our very early 20s, um, didn't have much for, <laughs> you know, consistent income um, and had to basically make it work how we could make it work. So we subdivided the plots and purchased a smaller plot so that we could buy the house, but not all of the associated land. Your grandparents' house. Correct. Okay. And then that's that was so this is dated 2015. Correct. So that's when that's when my husband and I were the house and then you and, and then split the land. And then split, split the land, land thinking right. it was when a building lot. That happened. Mm -hmm. My mom was unaware that she had to continue to pay taxes on that plot. Um, so they went unpaid for a little while and we were informed that they had been unpaid. So my husband and I stepped in and paid the taxes and have done so since. Mm -hmm. So legally, again, belongs to my mother financially, my responsibility. So, and I'm not trying to speak ill of her at all. No, no. <laughs> I know that. And so how, okay, so you got the survey by the Northeast Survey, survey. So I wonder if they submitted this to the planning board? I honestly don't. I would assume. That's no. what we have to figure out. That's what the, because how it got to the planning board is, um, I don't Well, if you're subdividing the lots, okay. That seems that's what planning, why planning board got involved. Yeah, that's what they right. do. That's what they do. Living. So. Whoever submitted it, I would talk I to the know. planning board and find out how they because they signed off on. I wonder if they knew what they were signing off on. Okay, it says it, tax map zoning, but but it's still gonna, regardless of what you hear from the planning board, it's still gonna come down to do we want to give a rebate for for this parcel and for how many years? We planning only board, do three. Only do three. okay, planning board is. I don't, don't see that it. as an impact on right, our decision. Yeah. Really nothing to do with it. There's yeah, nothing to do with it. It's done. It's, it's yeah. done. So it comes down to our board here deciding, do we want to give a rebate for this? But is it, is it the board that this, this decide or does the state that she applied to the state? Or uh, no, no, we would apply to the state. Okay. It's, it's okay. something we can't just do. We have to ask the state if we can. Can you see the, that little writing there? What does that say? I state to the best of my knowledge that this plan complies with the 1976 rules and regs of the Register of Deeds in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Well, obviously it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I don't know. So, so to proceed, do what do we, we need something from Caitlin here to, to ask for the rebate? You you uh, submitted what do we, what do we need? an abatement, didn't you? I didn't. When I initially reached out, gate email oh, was because it was too late. The <clears throat> period that I was able to. Okay. Um, I guess you again want to see something. It, something in formal. writing. Yeah. There's something Probably. formally in writing yeah. from you asking, uh, asking us to 
I guess, evade the taxes for as long, as far back as we legally can do. Okay. In which, which I think would be 19, no, 2021 20, and 22. Yeah, which would be the three years, I guess, for you to ask for that and writing to us and then we'll carry it forward to the state and, okay. and let you know how that gets resolved. Fine. Uh, where would I say that? Just send it to us. Uh, or to here, away. You know, okay. Uh, for Sandy Lane, okay. or you can you could do it by email, right? Email, yeah, you can yeah, do email I'll if you want. Make sure that we, you know, I was printed out by. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you have my email. I do. <laughs> Back and forth. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for. But do we still want to figure out how the planning board signed off on that? Well, what can we do about that? I don't know. I'm just yeah, curious. Yeah, yeah. Now, but she, if I would, but then I'm like this. I would go and talk to the planning board. Well, say, that's what I'm how, saying. What the heck? Because yeah. what, how did it get to the planning board? Yeah. You know? Right. That I don't know. No. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the procedure. So. Well, I have to tell you. You remember, um, Fred, I, you told me something about back from the road. Yeah, the AR1 designation. Yeah. Yes. I pointed it out to him. Determined I was wrong. Oh, yeah. And I don't like to use your name. That's right. No, I just don't like to do that. Yeah. Name dropper. Uh, and so I said, oh, check, check, check. He checked and he, they were totally wrong. Wrong. Yeah. That needed. The whole zoning well, thing or whatever yeah. needs to be moved, and they right. have made that mistake. And, and that yeah. was the planning board? Yes. Yeah, yeah. For the yeah. planning board. No, yeah. that's the planning board. Yeah. Yeah. Have to have a little talk with yeah. Jones. I know. Yes. Okay. Thank you. All right. Okay. <laughs> How's your mom doing? We're holding it. Good. Yeah, we're getting her. Good. <laughs> Tell her I said hi. Hi, well. Because yeah, well, presumably, presumably, after yeah. somebody bought it for a lot of money and goes to get a building, building permit, they get the so building inspector should. Yeah. We hope. Yeah. Say, yeah. oh yes, yeah, not a buildable lot. Yeah. yeah, right. Which now you've not you've really compounded the issue. Yeah. Because yeah. Now you sold the sold land under false pretenses. Well, but it wasn't who were on the, the assumption though, because you have that little thing right there. I mean, right. You, yeah. Oh, I understand. It wouldn't yeah. be, but that's what they yeah. would do legally, I think. Wow. If you were a buyer, you just spent. I don't know what she was asking. She was asking for that piece. You know, I don't remember it being. I thought they had closed a confusing thing. It so was. I remember that whole setup on Zillow. But the building inspector wouldn't get involved in, until they applied for a building permit. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I can buy that. property and not do anything with right. it. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. And that land, too, is a lot. There's wetlands in it. A yeah, that's a, that's a north end. Yeah, yeah. They used to have cows and ponies, several ponies. Um, so it has, there's a big scale. It has wetlands. So I'm just surprised you didn't have something more done because it has the wetlands, this and that. Mm -hmm. Because Rules, yes, laws, change. sort of a whole top third yeah. of it, sort of yeah. in a swirl across the top. How well, many acres is in there? One point eight. Or this? Yeah. No, it's it four bigger than four point five. I don't even think is it it's got wetlands on it. Probably not. Because right. we're it's at the that's at the whitest. I think it's here. It's yeah, it not, here. yeah, it's it's like right in here. Okay, I, I remember correct. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. we were there. My kids and myself were there a lot growing up. Uh -huh. My kids and she was best friends with my neighbor and spent a lot of time growing up. Okay, so now are we done? Is everything the yay? Yay! yay. So. <laughs> What's so the uh, other properties you wanted to talk about? Oh, we were going to, well, if, I don't know whether we have to, I guess we have to keep it, it public as long as we're well, talking. Can anybody think of any other 
I mean, I there is some new growth we need to look at. There's yeah. some sales we need to look at. I'm just trying to think of, of things that have been seen. Yeah, okay. There's some uh, some new sales here I'll probably look at. Yeah, a few. Boy, very few sales. Very few sales. There's not much, there's nothing yeah. actually for sale. Yeah, there is. I saw, I saw some this morning. Well, there's one River Road, I guess, and then there's one on Long Island. One's 389000 and the other one I forget. And then there's a lot for sale. Like 139000 That's ridiculous. I know. Yeah. This is probably cheap compared to the one. Those places, they're lots of so tiny. Uh, how about the, the new uh, personal property thing you got from that person on North Street? Been there lately? Baron, that was the other one, yes. You should do both. It's been a while since we've been in the house, too. Plus, uh, this. Yep. He and, sent, but we do have a yeah. form of list. Right. And it, how long has it been since we went to Owl Hill? Do we know, is oh, there anything going on there? I don't want to go near that. We've, we've been in. Uh, oh, I, I, don't know. I don't know. That was before we Kathleen was here. But I yeah, mean, that's, uh, so I should yes, go to that. Judge uh -huh. Judy's. Oh, oh! I think we should go yeah, to that. Kathleen needs to go I think they got they're it. not going to let us in. I don't know. Well, see how long it's been. Oh. How long has it I been? I was suggest it hasn't been that long. Five years? Maybe. Mm -hmm. At the most. Yeah. I would almost think they should take out a building permit for anything. No. <laughs> I don't think they're doing it. I know. Yeah. I, I haven't driven by them. I thought I heard that they were living in Florida, but I couldn't. Oh. I don't think they're I mean I don't think they're living there. I've no, I've seen a car. Silver Mercedes, um, it's one of the, it's a big car, but it was okay. they come down their driveway, they've almost hit me. Okay. On your okay. bike, I'm on my bike. Yeah, then maybe they are there. Somebody's there that drives that drive. I should have hit me. Oh, don't you want to do it? Judiciously. Yeah, not put it on screen. Yeah. <laughs> Should I tell Brian? Brian? Yeah. Should I tell Brian or Amy that? Oh, we can. We, we can stop it. We gotta shut it up.